This is a Create Studio demo for beginners. Just a quick walkthrough for beginners on how to use Create Studio to create animations. So what's really cool about Create Studio is they actually have this feature called the Lightning Builder. Now don't get me wrong, you can click on a new project, but some words of caution, creating animation videos can be extremely timely because there's so many customizations and things that are moving. You have to remember, every little feature has a path or somewhere to go or a customization. And that's why I really like this Lightning Builder feature. So I usually click here and this makes it extremely easy. It's like a walkthrough guide. Then just choose your orientation. I'm going to do 16 to 9. This is like a YouTube aspect ratio. Then all you have to do is choose the style of your video. You know, maybe you want to do a kid's adventure or a Halloween theme. There's like a gazillion themes that you can choose from. That's what's really cool about Create Studio. What I've been working on a lot lately is these doodle videos and they seem to do really well, especially with like paid advertising. And then next, all we have to do is choose our scenes. Because you have to remember, these animation videos or clips, they kind of have like a script to them, right? And that's where you have to choose each individual scene and it kind of builds up into your script. Hopefully that's not too confusing. So all we have to do here is click on the subcategories, which are essentially the different sequences of steps in your script. So here's the opener section. You can just add this scene. This seems like a good intro. Then click on the content. We can add a couple of these scenes and kind of just like kind of create a story. You can also click on the problem if someone had a problem. You can click on those, a solution, a call to action. There's a ton of stuff here. And then once you're done building the scenes to your animation video, just go up in the right hand corner and click on go to editor. Choose your music and then click next. So as you can see here, we are in the video editor and it's a little different from normal video editors here. If you scroll down here, it kind of starts with the different scenes here. And how we edit these is if you click on each individual scene, you can edit them. But first, let's click play and have a listen here. This is essentially what our video looks like right here. This is Tom. Your main title goes here. And again, this just goes over and over through all of our scenes. What I tend to do is kind of I'll click on these and then I'll drop and drag and shorten them just because they feel a little bit long in my honest opinion. And being a YouTuber, I know how important retention is. So what I do is I shorten them and then I'll bring them all over here and just make sure they're next to each other. See, if we click play here, now they're a lot shorter. That's a little piece of advice to you. But like I was saying, all you have to do is click on these and then you can edit everything. What I tend to do is put my mouse over like the end of it and then you can just click on these text bars and you can edit this. Let's change the name to Chris since that's my name. We can change the overlay image. You can essentially change every little feature on this clip or the scene over here in this editor. We can change the motions of everything, the properties, the colors, the images, everything. And that's what makes Create Studio so popular and great because you can customize literally everything. But there's kind of some blowback on that because if you get lost in customizing everything, you're gonna burn tons and tons and tons of time. So what I like to try to do is keep it as simple as possible because after all animations, I mean, they don't have to be like super crazy. It kind of depends what you're doing. I personally use these as B-roll for my YouTube videos because I'm a full-time YouTuber and the retention's great on them. Also, what I'll do sometimes is use them for paid advertising. So as you can see here, I can click on this scene and then I can edit all of this. I can change the image here can just upload a different one or replace it, click on replace. And all you have to do is kind of like go through each individual scene here and edit it how you want it to be. And if you want to add more features to it, you can click on these tabs up here. We can change the transitions. If you click on the 3D creator, you can actually create like a person here. You can add music and effects. You can add custom backgrounds, which is really cool. There's a bunch of AI backgrounds you can create. You can actually ask it to create new backgrounds for you as well. And then you can add custom scenes. And what Create Studio does is they kind of break up the scenes into different themes, but you can actually go into any theme and steal a certain scene from it and then bring it and mix match, if that makes sense. Because I was wondering that as well. Because if you're in the tool here and you look at all the different scenes, you're like, well, what if I want something from a kid's scene? You can actually take it from any scene and put it anywhere you want. Everything is customizable. So then once you are done creating the animation video, it's extremely easy. All we do is go up here in the publish side and then click publish and then we can save it and go publish it wherever we want. So you can create a 3D character or you can actually just create any person you want on a background. Here's a safari guy. Here's a guy from Maui. Here's a robot. If you can't tell yet, the trend here is everything is so customizable that it's crazy. You can make paid ads, you can make explainer videos for businesses, you can just create B-roll for like myself as a YouTuber. And guys, if you're considering checking out Create Studio, because this is an amazing tool, consider using my affiliate link in the description. 
from one creator business owner to another i'm just trying to help you out here and it would greatly help out my channel hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions let me know what kind of animation videos are you looking to create i've been sitting here blabbing i want to hear back from you guys oh and please consider subscribing i'll see you in the next one